hopefully all the cameras are recording simultaneously. I'm trying to do multiple cameras at the same time this time. Uh, as uh, some might know, I've decided to retire recently, and the company actually had some decent gifts to pick from as a retirement gift. So I picked uh, this little project box here, and I'm going to unbox it on the uh, video for you guys. So let's get going. Hopefully it's got an unbroken turntable. It arrived in an unexpected shipping cart and it was just left at the door. And as we open the box, oh boy, stiff cardboard. We see we got a little accessory pack. It's got the uh, turntable wires and a few little bits and bobs and the belt for the turntable. Nice pack. Always got to check the cardboard. Hopefully, there's nothing in it. I think there may have been something in that one. No, maybe not. At the top, and the uh, covering here would be the. Yeah, it's the turntable's dust cover. Standoff. Mm. Lots of uh, little extra bits of stuff here. Main turntable. I think I'll get rid of the box here. Try not to damage anything. Ooh, nice and black. Little bits of dust on it here and there. Now, I had chosen to go with the uh, alternate platter, which would be this acrylic thing. Very nice. And it came with the uh, Ortofon Red, but I've picked up a Ortofon Blue uh, stylus to upgrade it. So it's a Project Debut Carbon fully upgraded as far as you can upgrade them. It doesn't have a speed box. Oh, I think that'll be an improvement to what I've been listening with. And uh, I guess it's my third turntable, table, so that little crowd of things is growing. That's the weight. Okay. Oh, and I found the power supply.
Try to find the. There we go. Oh, that's an interesting uh, way of doing things. There we go. I guess I'll leave that on for now just to keep it tied down. But there you have it. Another unboxing video of a Project Debut Carbon Turntable. Well, I thought I'd take uh, you through a little bit of a setup of the turntable since I think a few people missed this little step. There's little transport screws on the motor that uh, need to be removed or backed off anyway. So the thing does uh, cause hum. And now the motor's free to do whatever it wants. It just vibrates in there. You notice I tried to minimize contact with the uh, belt. You're really supposed to use gloves on the rubber belt. The finger oils end up causing it to harden and deteriorate pretty quickly. But if you use their tool and they're careful not to touch it, you can get it on and uh, without much contact with it. Although any further contact really should have uh, cotton gloves or something to keep the finger oils off. So remove the screws that uh, caused the hum, put the belt on, and let's see what's left, the anti-skating weight.
My gosh, trying to get this on with bad eyesight is not easy. Okay, I might have to cheat here and go get some magnifying glasses. <laughs> Back in an instant. There we go. And what does the book recommend for Ortophon? Okay, looks like for the two I'm red, it should be on the second uh, dent. And we'll release the tone arm. There's no push for the anti skating. No idea what this is for. Weird. Would that be that? I just gotta move it into place and give it a play. Okay, after checking things, it looks like uh, Project did a pretty good job of uh, aligning the cartridge. It's bang on to their little uh, protractor they gave. So let's just adjust the uh, tracking weight, which I think I've already done. Yeah, 1.83, I was hoping for 1.80, so it's just a tad heavy. I'll back it off just a tiny bit. And we got it, bang on. Oops, still a little heavy. Had finicky at this point. And there we have it, 1.80, just what the recommended tracking for us is. So the turntable is ready for play. Well, there's the Project Carbon DC turntable fully set up and playing, wired through my shit money phono stage. My old turntable's been rewired for mono use, as uh, suggested by Sure, the two channels have been merged into one using two Y connectors. And everything does definitely sound better than it was. If you've managed to stay through this uh, rather lengthy video for me, uh, thanks for watching. And if you wish, subscribe. I do plan to make more videos now that I. 
have even better equipment than I used to. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.